Hi everyone. So lately I've been having these amazing conversations with uh, some of my friends around this whole concept of freedom and what does it truly mean and are we free, really? And it brought me back to when I was uh, working in social services, living in Toronto, and if for all intensive person, I had a great job, um, I had a wonderful home, I lived in a beautiful area, uh, I was climbing that proverbial uh, ladder, you know, corporate ladder, if you, if you will, and on the outside, things looked really good. On the inside, I felt anything but free. Uh, although I had a job that I had gone to school for and had worked in for years, I no longer liked how I had to do it. The policies and procedures of how I needed to do it just didn't, just took away the joy of, of doing, doing the work. I felt like I was doing more paperwork than actually serve, serving in people's lives. I also realized that I had no time. I, you know, I was working 40 to 60 hours a week, hour to work, an hour from work, and then all the other responsibilities that come with raising a family and having a, a job and a career and all those things. And as I sat back, I realized I felt, I felt like I was, I was bonded. I felt like I, I had, was anything but free. I hadn't been on a vacation. I stopped doing many of the things I, I love to do. And I didn't feel self-expressed in any real way. So part of the conversation I've been having with my friends are, are you free and what does that mean? And we started looking at, at, at freedom and freedom is a, is a form of your being able to be totally self-expressed, right? Just totally self-expressed and living life to the best of your capacity and capabilities. It is, it is almost like this process of continuous growth and continuous self-expression. And how many of us truly have that? The ability to see and travel the world and do all these wonderful things. So, I, I decided that, you know, this was the year that I was going to invite people to just really take on this whole concept of freedom. So, so if you, if you've seen some of my posts and some things I've been posting, it's been health plus wealth equals freedom. And, and it's a neat concept because health is so vital in order to do the things that we want to do, to have the energy, the vitality to do the things you want to do. And if you know someone who's suffering from any health challenge, they feel very restricted and it weighs on them. So in many ways, they're not free. They're not physically free. They may not be emotionally free. It's, it's a stressor. And then you have this whole thing about wealth freedom. And you know, I hear people say that, oh, you know, I don't pay attention to money, I don't talk about money. But I'll tell you, money totally kind of pays for the ride. And we know what it's like when you don't have money because it's a stressor, it's a worry. So there's a certain amount of financial freedom uh, that, that, that creates this thing called freedom. But then there's time freedom. And you may make a lot of money, you may do, uh, you know, have all the money flowing in, but do you have the time to actually enjoy your money? And I remember for me, uh, I wasn't making the money I wasn't, wanted, but even in the past, if I had the time, I wouldn't have time to enjoy it because I was too busy working those long, long hours. And time is one of those things that we can't really get back. So there's this whole piece I call time freedom. And then there's this thing I, I call intellectual freedom in terms of being able to express yourselves in your career, in whatever you want to do, and just having the freedom to be the best version of yourself and put your ideas, thoughts out in the world. It is the act of creating. And one of the reasons why many people become entrepreneurs is because they want to, they want to put their idea into the world. They want to create, they want to be a cause of something. So there's this intellectual freedom. And then there's the free, the freedom of just dance, play, uh, movement, all those things that make life ju juicy. And uh, I, when I write my goals, I call them my freedom goals. And they're all the things I love to do. And, and they're just totally for me. They make my heart sing. And so as you're listening, I'm just curious to ask you, are you truly free? And reminding you that freedom, freedom is a choice. We create it, we cause it. And freedom is actually something that you, you're intentional about. So, so one of the things I, I, as I have gone on my journey, and I have this whole concept of, of designing my life, right? Being a cause in my life. I realize that my freedom comes from my intention. 
Do I intend to be, to be free? Do I, do I set goals and design my life in a way that allows me to have access to this thing called freedom? So I'm inviting you this year, 2018, to take on designing your life, to take on being free. One of my commitments is to, is to work and partner with 10 people who, who just want to live life on their own terms. They want to design it. They want to, they want to live in this area called fun and play and creation. And, and they want to take on their own freedom. So if that's you, let me know. I'd be curious to see what that looks like for you. And maybe we'll collaborate. I don't know. But uh, if it is you, just hit me up. Let me know. But yeah, are you free? That's my intention. I, I want to live life on my own terms. I'm, I'm going to set intentions that allow me to do so. Talk to you soon.